slightly lighter note. Um, yeah, this is a, this is an interesting. I just saw this come up, and I only have one comment to make about it. Apparently, some some snarky, you know, um, chef in California um, apparently like to um, who is apparently from a fairly well known Japanese restaurant. Apparently, he would um, like trash talk other Japanese restaurants, and one of the ways that he would trash talk them and, and try to tell people that they are not. Um, doing a good job like they're not doing giving people really authentic japanese food to americans they're hiding it from them apparently he said that uh, you know a real japanese restaurant would always serve sakura mochi um this kind of you know mochi cake uh sakura flavored with sakura leaves on them with the dessert and if you're not getting sakura mochi then you're not getting a real japanese meal apparently he wrote this sort of blog trash talking all these other japanese restaurants and um, it got picked up by people who immediately said, well, uh, for a start, it's, that's a weird thing. I've, I've had sakura mochi like maybe once in 23 years. It's seasonal and you wouldn't like have it at most types of Japanese restaurants, even if it was like the right season for it. So, uh, of course, the comment's complete BS. It's just him seeding a little. It's just him being a dick, frankly. And for that, the guy definitely deserves to be called out as a dick. Uh, he was being a dick. <laughs> uh, but however, the, 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 the outrage, when people found out that uh, he was telling a fib, the outrage seemed to center around the fact that he's a white chef. And yeah, that's unfortunate. But this comes back to what I was saying before about how there's this idea about how in America, you know, in, in many Western countries, that how irrespective of the actual cultural differences between like the idea that a, a place is culturally diverse as Asia or Africa, as ethnically, culturally and genetically diverse as those places suddenly become like, you know, the Asian dancer or the African dancer. And they, they expect you to look pure. They don't want mixed or half or anything like that. So, yeah, the idea that the the guy deserves to be called out for being a dick he doesn't deserve to be called out for being a white chef i've had terrible um japanese food that was made by asian people in new zealand the worst restaurants uh you know in downtown were all korean run and and, and japanese run and there were some good ones as well the thing is i love korean food so i was always like why make crappy sushi with the korean really hard nori and the rice done the wrong way like why screw up someone else's food why not just make your own i don't think being asian gives you a pass for assuming that you're going to make good food from someplace in asia someone from japan is not going to make good good iranian food necessarily maybe they will but they're in the end of the day their heritage isn't going to have anything to do with it this guy deserves to be called out but not for being white um and and, and yes I, I i get it uh, he's not even asian and he's making fun of asian food asian food doesn't exist um you know, you, you're angry about the wrong thing. Uh, he's a dick, and the idea of sakura mochi—I mean, that was just uh, that, that was a silly thing to say. But I, all, all, all the, the the takes, you know, taking him down is like, oh, we found out that yeah, he's trash talking Japanese restaurants, and he's white. Um, you know, that's that's the wrong thing to be going yeah. for. Another um, chef sounds like a culture snob. Yes, and for that, he deserves condemnation. Absolutely.